This will be an example video covering the topic, Finding Zeros of a Polynomial Function Written in Factored Form. Let's take a look at our first example problem. We are given f of x equals negative 4x times the quantity x squared minus 16 times the quantity x minus 7. Our goal is to find all the real zeros of the function f of x. This means we're going to find all the values that make f of x equal 0. Before we begin, we must completely factor each polynomial. The only polynomial here that needs to be factored further is x squared minus 16. x squared minus 16 can be factored into x plus 4 and x minus 4. Now that our function is completely factored, we can set each of our factors equal to 0. Now we solve for x in each of the factors to find the real zeros of f of x. Let's start with negative 4x equals 0. We divide both sides of the equation by negative 4, and we find that x equals 0 is our first real 0. Now let's move on to x plus 4 equals 0. We subtract 4 from both sides, and our answer is x equals negative 4. Moving on to x minus 4 equals 0, we add 4 to both sides, and our answer is x equals 4. Finally, to find our last real 0, we solve for x minus 7 equals 0. We add 7 to both sides, and our answer is x equals 7. After solving each of our factors, we find that x equals 0, x equals negative 4, x equals 4, and x equals 7 are all real zeros for the function f of x. Let's move on to our next example problem. We are given f of x equals negative 5x times the quantity x squared minus 25 times the quantity x minus 7. We begin by making sure that each polynomial is completely factored. x squared minus 25 can be factored further into x plus 5 and x minus 5. There are no other polynomials that can be factored further, so now we can set each factor equal to 0. Let's begin with negative 5x equals 0. We can divide both sides of the equation by negative 5, and the result is x equals 0. Now let's move on to x minus 5 equals 0. We add 5 to both sides, and the result is x equals 5. Moving on to x plus 5 equals 0, we can subtract 5 from both sides, and the result is x equals negative 5. Finally, we solve for x minus 7 equals 0. We add 7 to both sides, and the result is x equals 7. After setting each factor equal to 0, we have found that the real zeros are x equals 0, x equals 5, x equals negative 5, and x equals 7.